to the NRF, families with children in elementary and high school plan to spend an average of $864 on school items. That's about $15 more than last year. Good morning to you, 517. It is 70 degrees. Time for an update on the forecast. Here's Storm Center 7 meteorologist Kirsty Zantini. Good morning. Well, if you're like me and you enjoy doing some stargazing uh, this time of year, we have a beautiful lineup of Jupiter, Mars, and the moon. So very easy to see. You'll be able to uh, check this out after midnight is when the moon will be rising. So if you look to the east-southeast uh, throughout the night and into the early morning hours, you'll be able to see the crescent moon. And then up above it will be Jupiter and very close to it will be Mars. Jupiter will easily be the brightest of the two planets, but Mars is so close to the moon that I think it should be pretty easy to spot. So if you're going to be out late or up very early, you have a great opportunity to see this. I was able to actually see this on my way into work, which of course is a couple hours ago. So if you wake up early like I do, you should be able to get outside and see this for the rest of the week. Here's a live look outside this morning. Temperature is very mild. Most of us are in the 60s and low 70s. And it is going to be a hot day, so we're already getting a good head start on the heat. Satellite and radar showing clear skies over the Miami Valley. So again, today and tomorrow, great opportunity uh, to get out and find the moon. And looking at live Doppler 7 radar, we don't have to worry about any rain today. So we did have some thunderstorms yesterday, uh, but we don't have to worry about that as we head through the afternoon. We'll be around 90 degrees today in Dayton, 88 in Coldwater. 91 in Centerville and 90 in Brookville. UV index, no surprise, is going to be up to a 9, which is very high for us. That means less than 20 minutes you can get a sunburn. Future cast shows clear skies as we progress through the afternoon. Heading into tonight, though, mainly after midnight, we do have a small chance if you're north of I-70. Uh, some storms that develop to our west could live as they head into the Miami Valley. But you see they kind of fizzle out. So I really don't expect it to be very impactful. But if you're up towards the line of Wapakoneta or Sydney, around midnight into the early morning hours on Friday, you may have a couple passing showers. The rest of Friday then looks dry. It'll be a pleasant day with a mix of sunshine, scattered clouds, and again, another afternoon where we could hit 90 degrees. Tonight, 70, that chance for a shower north, it'll be very warm. Starts to get a little muggier tomorrow, but I still think it's going to be very uncomfortable. And tomorrow could be our third 90 degree day in a row. So that could continue a heat wave, another one for the year. Our weekend outlook, very warm this weekend. Saturday and Sunday will both be in the low 90s. The big difference to our weekend weather is that the dew points will creep into the 70s. So you will definitely notice it feels a lot stickier. It feels a lot more humid outside on Saturday and Sunday. That also means then the heat index values go up above 100. We will see the chance for thunderstorms on Sunday. You can see Saturday morning, again, first part of the day, we might get a passing shower or thunderstorm, but most of the afternoon and evening looks pretty quiet. We'll start Sunday off with dry weather, but then as we progress, get a little closer to the end of the afternoon and evening, we'll start to see the chance for some thunderstorms developing, and they will pass to our south as we head into uh, Sunday night, early Monday morning. Our seven-day forecast shows behind that front. Temperatures cool off just a little bit on Monday and Tuesday. They start to ramp back up, though, by Wednesday. Let's check in with Sergeant Mark now. He has a look at your morning commute. Good morning, Sarge. Good morning again to you, Kirsty. But good start to the morning drive. We've had good road conditions. We've been in touch with several area police departments. We're going to get in touch with traffic tracker right now. Get a live look at 675. Looks like they're in the area of State Route 235. This is in Fairborn, Greene County. Looks good on this part of the freeway. We'll take a look at uh, 75 at Caroline Boulevard. This is near downtown. And uh, looks like we're in good shape here as well. I'm Sergeant Mark Bowen, WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 521 at 70 degrees. An investigation into how a white hat science may have pushed a contractor to hire a prostitute. What our I-team has uncovered from newly unsealed documents. What was supposed to be a happy experience for two young girls turned into heartbreak. Why the family claims they were the victims of blatant racism. 